Yo, what is everyone to do, YouTube? It's George Boys. Jay Shaw checking in today with another video. Um, if you're new to the channel, make sure you go ahead and hit the sub button. Make sure you go ahead and smash the like button for my dog JP. We on the roll to 10K. Support goes a long way. But um, today is, uh, is a different video, man. This is actually an explanation of why J. Cole is disrespecting the game of basketball. Because now it's starting to go viral. Uh, you know, I've seen the shade room. My friend Adrian showed me that the shade room finally posted uh, another overseas athlete, pro athlete, basketball player that mentions one of the top players in his league mentions how this J. Cole's um, how how it's disrespectful to the game that, that they're allowing him to come in and be a professional basketball player. And um, it's pretty it's getting a pretty big topic now, man. You know, y'all can go check out. My last video talking about that, uh, I'm going to react to more of his basketball games. But today is more of an explanation on why, dang, on why this move, J. Cole is disrespecting the game of basketball. Because a lot of people don't get it. They really don't get it. And so I'm here to try to explain and try to help you understand what why people are mad why i'm mad or you know it's not mad but why it is labeled as disrespect to the game of basketball so for instance if i mean for well let's rewind for all of you that don't know j cole is overseas playing basketball um for a professional basketball team in, in uh in like rwanda africa something like that so it's it's big it's it's drawing up a lot of attention because he's only averaging about one point. He's not doing anything. He's not doing anything. But a lot of people are upset because it's it's disrespecting the game of basketball. So now I'm here to explain the disrespect to help maybe you understand why it's, it's disrespect. So first and foremost, if you're not an athlete, if you are not an athlete, not an athlete. You will never understand the disrespect that this is brought to the game of basketball. You will never understand it. You will never understand it. If you're not an athlete, you will not understand it. Because from a fan's perspective, you're just going to say, J. Cole's living out his dream, man. Y'all hating, bro. Y'all, I'm reading up and down the shade room comments right now, and all I can see is, is you a hater, man. Sound like a hater to me. You know, all this type stuff of, of people basically saying that, that um you're hating if if you don't like this move. So my thing is it's funny how the people that are saying they're hating are, are females for one that 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 probably are not basketball players so they wouldn't understand. But they're calling another basketball player, another pro basketball player that has a spot that's getting paid that that is living his dream. They're calling him a hater. Make it make sense. You know what I'm saying? That's what I'm saying. They really don't know what they be talking about. I can read some of these to y'all, man. Someone said he must be uh one he, he must be the one spot. He must be the one whose spot got took. Clearly, you know what I'm saying? That just shows right there the lack of knowledge of basketball that this person has, bro. This person is already on another team speaking. Whether he's on another team or on the same team, he literally is playing. And, and they're and they're saying it must be the spot. He must took his spot. And even if he did, that's not even cool. How can you laugh about that? You know what I'm saying? These are these are players that that have made sacrifices. People are saying like, you know, I'm gonna just keep on going through through the comments and stuff. But but people are making sacrifices to be in a position that J Cole is in. Now I'm not saying he didn't make a sacrifice, but I bet on a scale to a normal person. His sacrifice was real minimum. His sacrifice might have been just taking a, taking time away from his rap career that's making millions of dollars to go play some basketball. When we're talking about with our sacrifices that you you, you your whole life is based on this this one change. This whole like your whole life you're banking on going pro. You know what I'm saying? But let me just read some more of this stuff, man. It says uh, it's giving hater vibes. Once again, how? How is another basketball player overseas that's one of the top players in his league hating on somebody that's averaging one point? Come on, bro. Come on, man. Like, come on, bro. 
Another one says, if you upset, he kept his skills while still being one of the best artists. Just say that. Nobody is jealous of J. Cole being a rapper and being versatile and he's able to play basketball. That's not even an argument. That's not even a conversation. You know what I'm saying? Nobody's talking about that. Nobody at all. But rappers are very, they feel disrespected when, when these mumble rappers come in and they just get all this clout and stuff like that. And now everybody, they, they get jealous about stuff like that. So that's what I'm saying. That's the same thing. It's literally, you know, basically the same thing. He's coming in, didn't put no blood, sweat, and tears into it. He just shot a couple shots in Chris Brickley Gym. You know what I'm saying? And he's now a professional basketball player on people that have made a lot of risk and took a lot of risk in their life to be in this spot. And he's right there with them after taking no risk at all. You know what I'm saying? But let's just keep going. You got normalize being happy for the next person, even if your, your ish ain't together. So, while that statement is true, that is not, it doesn't relate to, to the topic. Nobody, first off, I just mentioned again, this guy that, that mentioned about J. Cole is also a professional basketball player. So, just because he's saying that it's disrespecting the game doesn't mean his ish is not together. Doesn't mean anything, bro. It doesn't mean he ain't got, like, so we all know J. Cole's life is together. So, are you saying compared to J. Cole's life, his is not together because he's not a rapper and a hooper. His life is not together. Like, like you know what I'm saying? Like, they, these comments are, are not smart at all. These are people that aren't athletes. I'm willing to put a lot of money on the fact that most of these people in the comments are not athletes when they're speaking on this topic. You got, but J. Cole been wanting to play professional basketball. He act like they signed him to the Lakers or something. I wanted to be a rapper. Not really, but a lot of people do. You know what I'm saying? Why I can't just jump to the top? Oh, I ain't got money. I ain't got money. Oh, I see how that works now. You see what I'm saying? Like, come on, bro. Like, you can't just say, like like I said, somebody in the comments on one of my videos yesterday, on our video yesterday, said somebody get me a tissue and and uh, it's not about J. Cole Hooping, man. It's about him fulfilling his dreams. And, you know, I commented on him. I said, man, you, you, you sound lame as hell because playing professional basketball is not some, not it's not it's an item on a bucket list. You know what I'm saying? Playing any professional sport. This is outside of basketball. For, for, for baseball, football, basketball, you know, soccer. This is the highest level of sports that people have trained their whole life for. You don't just put this on a bucket list and be like, one day after I have not did anything and I'm set for life, I just want to be on the Lakers one day. I just want to try out for the team and be and be a professional basketball player one day. That doesn't happen. You know what I'm saying? So nobody is 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 talking about like everybody's happy that J. Cole is doing his thing. But that doesn't dismiss the fact that it's disrespecting the game of basketball. That's what I think people are failing to realize. Nobody is hating on J. Cole. Nobody is hating on what he's doing. People are saying that, wow, this is disrespectful. And he's not the only one. This is the first time I've mentioned, you can go back and check, uh, well, I think it was in podcasts, but we got videos where I was upset with Shaq West signing the deal. Tim Tebow just signed to play football again. That's all disrespectful. All of them. But I need that same energy, y'all. Nobody talk about Tim Tebow. Use the same energy. You know what I'm saying? Let's go through some more of this. See, somebody said, I don't think he's being a hater. He's actually telling the truth, which is facts. He is telling the truth. And somebody else says, sound like a hater. You sound like a hater. That's what I'm saying. Everybody that's saying you sound like a hater doesn't make sense to me at all. This is another professional basketball player that has worked his way up, accomplished his dreams, living the dream. And you're calling him a hater just because he's speaking facts. He's speaking facts. You're not even an athlete. This is an athlete talking about somebody that entered his profession. And you're calling him a hater. And you are not even an athlete. So you have no idea what it feels like. So, you know, make it make sense. Someone said, just say you're mad that he can do both and keep it moving. Um, now, don't get me wrong. It's a lot of trolls out there, um, especially on these social media websites. A lot of a lot of people that just say stuff to just get a few likes on a comment. You know, it's a disgusting world we live in. But let's just listen to what she said again, man. Just say you mad that he can do both and keep it moving. 
So you're saying that I let's just say it's me because I'm I'm upset that this is this this is disrespecting the game. So let's just say she's talking to me. So I'm mad at Jermaine Cole for the amazing album he just put out. I'm mad that he can rap and play basketball. That's what I'm mad about. That's what I'm mad about. Not the fact that he hasn't trained his entire life and made sacrifices his entire life to be my teammate. When I know I've done that, but you're my teammate, you know, you just you already a millionaire from rapping, and you haven't done anything but shoot a couple shots at Chris Brickley Gym, and you're my teammate. I'm not mad about that. I'm mad because you can rap and you can hoop. Wow. Okay. That's that's what I'm mad about because you're a good artist and you can play basketball. Come on, bro. Come on. That's that's literally nowhere near. The frustrations of this topic, bro. Nobody cares. Like, like, no, like, I, everybody loves J. Cole, bro. If you don't get hip, you know what I'm saying? But everybody loves J. Cole, bro. That, nobody is mad that he can do both. I'm actually glad that, that he can hoop and, and play. A lot of rappers can hoop and play, back, uh, can hoop and rap. You know what I'm saying? That's not the topic. That's not the topic. The topic is, is that this dude is already a millionaire. This, this, you, you know how people cry when you get drafted on draft night when you get the call or you get that, you know, people go sign and all that stuff. You know how you cry because it's life changing. You know that, right? Even if you never felt that because I never felt that. You know what I'm saying? I got I got cut short because of Corona. But you know how you watch TV and you see those people cry and all of that when they get the call? Yeah, that's what happens when you get something that's life changing. But I guarantee you. This dude, he ain't do that. He ain't do that. Now, I'm not, not necessarily saying he had to, but we're just speaking facts here. He didn't have to at all. His life is made. He can go the rest of his life without even touching this court ever again, and he's fine. So that's what I'm saying. That's the frustration that's like, man, I put my all into this, and he put a little bit of his life into this, and he's my teammate. That's the that's the frustration. Not because he can rap. He just put out an album, and now he's playing basketball. Oh, I'm jealous of that. Come on, bro. Come on, man. Let's go through a little bit more of these, man. Um, you got dudes out here hating. Mind your business. He didn't take your job, right? That's the overall standpoint, right? You always think it's always about you. It's always about you. It's more than that, man. It's more than that. It's about the whole culture. It's about it's about every brother out there, every brother and sister out there that's grinding for this basketball opportunity that, 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 that don't get a chance to get it. It's about that. It's not about... What, what it, it affected me, how it affected me. It's not always about me. I'm thinking about the person right now. I got a couple of friends that still grinding to go overseas, still grinding to be a pro, whether it's basketball, whether it's another sport. But guess what? They're not going to get the chance. They're not going to get the chance. But a rapper that did not do any of that, that did not go through any tears, any blood, any sweat, but he would, he would get a better chance than any of my friends, anybody out there that's still grinding. That's what it's about. That's what it's about. So so it's not about him taking my job specifically. It's about anybody out there that I can relate to. But like I said, if you're not an athlete, you will never get it. You will never get it. You will never understand. Never. You have to be an athlete to understand. Or you might just have to have to have a some type of um, versatile mind, an open mind about understanding this. Because I'm on the side of I am glad J. Cole is doing his thing. I'm happy that he's able to go do that. I'm happy for him. I'm just speaking facts that it is disrespecting the game, but I know how life is today, and I know how money, with money, you can do anything. I know that. So so I'm going to need everybody in the comments that to understand that it's, it's more to it than just what you think it is when it's just, oh, you're just hating. Let's see some more. We'll go through about three more. We can wrap this up. Um, let's see. He talking crazy. The attention Cole brings to the league, so people can pay attention to those showcasing their talent, is worth it. Without Cole, nobody would be talking about this league. That's facts. That's a plus that came out of this. That's facts. Not gonna argue with you with that, about that. But that's what it's about. It's not about him being able to hoop. It's not about any of that. That's exactly what we're saying though. It's not about any of that. It's not about how good he is. It's not about any of that. It's the fact that they they got him for for money. They got him for publicity. And it helped their team out. So that's facts. Um, he telling the truth, but since it's J. Cole people, 
People will say he's hated. Facts. I knew this would come about just because he's a rapper. He doesn't qualify. Like, just be happy for the guy. No, he doesn't qualify. Let's just be brutally honest. Let's just be honest. He doesn't qualify. No, he doesn't. He didn't. The last time he hooped was was whatever. You know, in high school, maybe that was organized. Other than that, hooping in, hooping in open gyms with NBA players and, 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 and hooping in Chris Brickley gym and shooting a couple shots for, for IG doesn't qualify to be a professional basketball player. I'm sorry to tell you that, but I'm just speaking facts. And I'm not going to let you sit here and downgrade or, or degrade the, the game of basketball itself. No, he doesn't qualify. He doesn't. I didn't qualify, and I have a I have a pretty good resume. Didn't go to the biggest school, but I try to make sure my resume backed up and, and try to, like, overshadow the fact that I went to the small school. But you got people out there that play D1 basketball that averaged 30 points, but they was 5'9", and didn't qualify. At the Division One level, the highest... The highest level before going to pro, you know what I'm saying, over here in America, you got people after that that was conference player of the years, all Americans, you know, this award, that award, this award, national champions that didn't qualify to be an NBA player or, or maybe overseas. So why, why does J. Cole qualify? Come on. Let's see. Sounds like a whole hater. You already know how we went about that. Man, sounds like a hater. Um, so is it disrespectful for all of these athletes to try to be rappers when they haven't put the time in? Man, cut it out. This has been going on forever. You wanted to use J. Cole name for people to see you for the first time. Um, oh, cause he, so he's saying that is it disrespectful for athletes to just randomly become rappers? I mean, it's, yeah, it's the same argument. I'm sure... Rappers out there are like, you know what I'm saying? You ain't even really been doing this. You feel me? But let's see. Let's go over one more. Let's see if we can get one more in. That boy, a hater. I guess there's going to be a whole bunch of these that got haters. All right. Let's just do this one. This one says, uh. People are dramatic over, dramatically oversensitive. It's annoying. Just because he makes music doesn't mean he can't play basketball. Wasn't Cole doing that before he started music anyway? So, one, this is not dramatic and not sensitive. You don't play sports, pretty sure, because there's no way you're going to tell me something that I've been working for my, my entire life, making sacrifices for, uh, probably moved and lost friends and lost time and lost a lot of things over you cannot tell me that i'm sensitive about a topic like that if i know i made sacrifices you can't tell anybody what's sensitive and what's not sensitive to their life i'm gonna tell you that right now you can't you can't there's no way you could do that so the fact that she started that off is just stupid you, and then you know I, I know for a fact she's not an athlete because she didn't have to take sacrifices to understand that she she doesn't understand she doesn't understand and it's kind of it's kind of it's kind of bad because clearly she didn't have other friends because other friends must they, they should have put her own game like like bro it takes a lot of it takes a lot of stuff to to be an athlete it does so don't tell me what I can and can't be sensitive about she said just because he makes music doesn't mean he can't play basketball. Nobody is not saying that. Or nobody is saying that. Maybe. However that goes. Nobody is saying um just because he just because he makes music doesn't mean he can't play basketball. Everybody in the world know J. Cole can hoop. Everybody in the world know Chris Brown can hoop. Everybody in the world know Shaq West can hoop. It's a lot of hoopers. Everybody in the world know Quavo can hoop. So nobody's not saying he can't hoop, but that doesn't mean he qualified to be a professional athlete. It doesn't. Because if we went by he can hoop, you know how many people will be a professional basketball player? You know how many more? You know that percentage? It's a very low percentage of like people from their they school or out of the millions and millions of people to go pro, it's only like, I mean, millions and millions of basketball players in the world or the country. It's a very low percentage that goes pro. So you know how many players would go pro if all we went off of was they can hoop? Literally almost like half the population, you know what I'm saying? Every All-American, every person that averaged over 15 points, everybody would go pro. So 
you have to understand when when you when you say he can play basketball, a lot of people can play basketball. But guess what? Why can he play basketball and make it pro? And not let's say me play basketball and not make it pro. He got money. He got money. So nobody's saying that he he can't play basketball. But everybody know he can play basketball. Then she says, wasn't Cole doing that before he started music? I'm sure he was. I'm sure he was. But guess who you messed up at? Before he started music, right? A lot of us out there are still doing it from day one. Came out the wound, you know what I'm saying? Came out the wound, whatever, age, two, three, four, five, people start playing basketball. And guess what? We stuck with basketball forever and still didn't make it. So just like you said, he started playing ball before music, right? Yeah, but guess what? Then he went to music and he stopped playing ball, organized ball, for a while. And guess what? He's a pro. But what about all of us that's never stopped? Did you think about that? All of us that's never stopped. I'm speaking on behalf of all the athletes in the world that's working their butt off for this opportunity in any sport. I'm speaking for y'all. But this is this is the stupidity that we deal with in the comments. You know what I'm saying? This is what we deal with. He started playing before music, therefore he deserves a chance to play professional basketball. If that's the case, let me let let's all all the athletes make sure y'all put a pause on y'all sports life for ten years and come back and let's let's all see if any of us that aren't millionaires let's see if we all get a chance to go back and play professional basketball professional baseball prof professional sport in general let's see if all of us can make it after taking off 10 years let's see because he's i think he's 36 or something like that someone in the comments said that so i'm going off of that he's 36 so let's take another 36 year old person that used to hoop in high school and, and did not play organized basketball all these years. Let's see at 36 if they make it. They won't. They won't. They won't. That's just being straight up. That's just being straight up, man. So the moral of the story, man, is that hopefully everybody watching this, you were able to understand the difference and, and understand what people mean by J. Cole, this move that J. Cole did disrespected the game of basketball. Hopefully this helped you understand why it's disrespectful it wouldn't be disrespectful it's not disrespectful to any fans out there no 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 nobody out there that are fans or any of that it's not disrespectful this is to the athletes this is to the people that understand how hard it is to be a pro if you never weren't once thought about being a pro athlete you will never understand therefore you cannot tell other athletes and other people that do understand that they're hating because you're not one of them. So, to wrap this up, man, I'm happy for Cole. All of us are happy for Cole. But it is a true fact and a true statement that Cole has disrespected the game of basketball with this move. He's averaging one point, And even in the NBA, people that don't do what they're supposed to do get cut. Get released. Cole is averaging one point, And I promise you he won't be released this whole season that he's playing with them. So, I'm happy for Cole, man. Keep doing your thing. People out in the comments, please have an open mind. Please understand where people are coming from. Not everybody is you. You know what I'm saying? So, just keep, just have an open mind of that, man. This The game of basketball itself and, and anybody out there that are athletes understand what it, what it comes with to, to be a professional basketball player. You have to take a lot of sacrifices. So, I understand your pain completely. I'm with you. I'm for you. And I'm going to keep riding with you, man. As long as you, you know what I'm saying? I'm, that's why I'm here today, here to talk about and try to get people to understand what we mean by this disrespected the game. So if you're new to the channel, if you vibe with the video, make sure y'all go ahead and hit the sub button. We're on the road to 10K. The support goes a long way. Make sure y'all go ahead and smash the like button for one time. Uh, my name is Jay Shaw. You can go ahead, you know what I'm saying, get all that information in the description. Go ahead and get your merch in the description. Everybody. Stay safe out there, man. Keep grinding. All the athletes, keep grinding. Don't let it discourage you. Just keep going, man. Keep going, man. CEO of all underdogs, man. Let's get it. Let's get it. Georgia boys, we out of here.